This is James from Gamefront with our Dynasty Warrior 7 Story Mode Walkthrough. This is part 13 of our walkthrough covering the first half of the Battle of Yai Pai. Lord Tsao I thank you for helping me recapture Shu Province. Lu Bu is an enemy to us all. It was something I would have done with or without you. In any case, I am grateful for your assistance. I do not engage in actions that do not provide me with some benefit. This battle was the perfect opportunity for me to obtain valuable officers. For example, somebody like the Honorable Guan Yu. I... Well, it is about time I move out. Everybody, we march! Lay siege to Xi'an. We are first going to travel to the center of the map so we can cross a bridge over to the castle we are sieging. Go on you, my lord. Your prowess is undeniable. I doubt I have ever seen anything like it. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Your time is up. Your time is up. I shall return. Remember that! For yours is the first hit I shall seek! Another victim has fallen before After defeating these enemy officers, you're going to be informed that you need to open floodgates in order to get into the castle. To do that, you're going to head towards the northwest corner of the map. You'll see the green blinking light on the map. That's where you're going. They get serious now. Just as we thought, they're after the floodgates. And of course, nothing is ever easy in the world, so when you get to the doors, they are guarded by enemy officers. Defeat these enemies, and the door to the floodgates will be opened, and you will be able to flood the castle. Your time is up. I shall return. The rest of this stage will be covered in part 14 of the story mode walkthrough. This is James from Gamefront. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe! But here is where the real battle begins. You must claim Lu Bu's head. Don't fall behind Guan Yu. My lord! General! Just stand there! Follow me!